Hello, this is Frank from AboutScript.com, and um, recently I've been doing some regular expressions videos to talk about pattern matching, and um, I'm also planning on doing some um, some posts, some articles about Firefox extensions, specifically Firebug, which is very useful. So we're going to look at how we can use Firebug in our um, well with scripting. So uh, this is going to be the first part of this video, where we're going to look at this web service here that makes um, ASCII text. So if I wanted to do something like this, I could say about script and it would make it in some uh, weird font using only plain text, right? Um, but now we're going to try to see how we could use this in a script and then just give the output using someone else's service. So um, we'll find font that looks like it might work. Walker Gnome maybe? I don't know. Something that we can read preferably. Not this. There we go. That's good. Alright. Now we're going to type some text here. And then, you can't see that, we're going to go open up Firebug and go to the net panel. Now we're in the net panel, so anytime a request is made through the browser, and you can tell that a request is being made because the URL doesn't have all that stuff after it that says the text that we typed in or any of that. So, if we um, pull this down a little, alright, we have our text there. Alright, now we're going to hit go, and now you see we have a request in here, because that request was just made to a web server and it replied with all of this information. Now you see that because it's a GET request, we can copy this and we'll paste it into a new tab. Okay, And this is exactly what's sent to the website when we press do it. And um, when that's sent, it handles it with some JavaScript and puts it in this little box down here puts it in that box down there. Alright, so now we have this request. So if we make this same request from a script, we request this web page, this is exactly what we'll receive. So, and you can see some text appears in, in the URL as well as our font name, Graffiti. So we could uh, theoretically make make a list of all the font names and allow a user to choose them or whatever the need is for your, uh, for your script. So, now we're going to just view the page source and see if we can make this fit in here. Alright, so we have the page source and here is our text that we want to capture and uh, it looks like it's in pre-tags which is pre-formatted text. So if we wanted to find this, let's see we'll look for pre-tags. Alright, so there's this one here, it starts, and then we're just going to search for pre. Alright, so this one starts here, and it ends here. We don't want this, so we want the second pre-tag where it starts there and ends there, and that'll have all of our text that we need um, in order to use this. So when we later write a script, which will be another video, um, we'll find the text between the first pre-tag and the second pre-tag after we ask the after we ask the server at um, networkscience.de when we ask that server for this we'll get this exact response and now we know how to handle it well that's it for this tutorial and this will be followed up with another one about how to actually use this information and we'll see if we can print it out on a console window and make um, the sort of ASCII art that you see here out of just plain text that you type in as a as a parameter for the program. Alright, well that's it.